What's up, guys? It's Danny. And Charlotte. From the Lasser Cast. And we are very tired on a Monday evening after spending the weekend at Comic Con. At New York Comic Con. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, my wife, Athena, uh, did a pretty cool thing this year and she booked a hotel months back. And so we were able to uh, go all day Saturday crash at our hotel which was only a couple of avenues away and then go right back early Sunday morning and we got all of our shopping done Sunday morning on the show floor uh we did not even step foot on the show floor yeah on Saturday we didn't I I don't think I even looked at the show floor yeah we went right downstairs to uh the autographing and meet and greet area uh we had some plans uh, to meet some people and then we went to see a panel which we'll talk about in a minute and uh, So let me first start off by saying this is a yearly thing for us. We go to comic-con every year um, Athena and I used to Work comic-con basically as press uh, when we were writing for geeks of doom uh, Now we just go and we try to enjoy it as much as possible. I have been hard at work though for the lasser cast on Thursday I was there at the main stage panel for the Mayfair Witches Season 2. You can check that uh, post-screening panel uh, video up on our channel now. Uh, I also went to uh, see the panel for the new Peacock series, Hysteria. There goes a cattail behind me. Mm -hmm. That stars Bruce Campbell, Anna Camp, and Julie Bowen amongst a, a crew of really cool young kids. Uh, the first episode, they showed most of it. I've since watched the rest of it, and it's pretty great. I think you're going to love it. It's basically... Uh, feels kind of in the same family as the last season of Stranger Things. Uh, mixed with some other, like, cool satanic panic heavy metal stuff, like a deathgasm. Think about that. Uh, so that was Thursday. Those videos are up on the channel. Uh, Saturday... We basically devoted our whole day to, to Mike Flanagan and the Flavengers. Yes, uh, the Flavengers, as we learned later on, that is uh, the nickname that they have taken. Uh, we met Mike Flanagan, Carla, Carla Cagino, uh, uh, Kate Siegel, and Raul Coley. Yes, uh, all of them, of course, Mike Flanagan, the uh, writer, director, editor extraordinaire of. The Haunting of Hill House, The Haunting of Bly Manor, uh, Midnight Mass, The Fall of the House of Usher, uh, and then that's not even discussing his movies like Hush, Gerald's Game, Doctor Sleep, uh, Oculus. He, Oculus. Uh, he, you know, we at the Lasser cast, we are indebted to My his. Flanagan. We are indebted to his filmography and his Netflixography for basically giving us a reason to talk horror. Uh, that's why Pete and I started this channel back during the pandemic was, hey, let's get together and talk about all the cool Mike Flanagan stuff that is going up on Netflix. And it's kind of just taken us from there. So we got to meet him and Kate Siegel and Raul Coley and uh, Carl Gugino, Gugino, as Charlotte said. Uh, do you want to talk about what it was like meeting them? Yes. Um... So basically, like we met Kate Siegel first, and ah, I loved it so much. She is so nice and amazing and pretty, and I just, I just loved it. Very fun. I think that we had a very nice chat. I, I think that the, the, it, what's amazing, and I think this is why I love his work so much, is that you, I always just got the sense that he was just a really good guy and that the people he surrounds himself with it, the Flavengers as they <laughs> are called are just really good awesome people yes, and are. you just got this sense meeting them that they are completely genuine and awesome individuals uh, one thing I have to point out at Comic Con very often over the years if it says somebody's autograph session starts at 11 o'clock very often they'll come out at 11 15 11 20 which is annoying which it, it's a little bit annoying 
Mike Flanagan and Kate Siegel's autographing session started at 11 a.m. on Saturday. They came out at 10.45 and immediately jumped into the signings. And we I think we had of... met, I'm sorry, we, we had met both uh, uh, Kate Siegel and Mike Flanagan before 11 o'clock, and that's when their autographing session was supposed to start. So that, that just struck such a chord with me as somebody who's gone to Comic-Con for eight, nine years in a row now, where I've sat there, 11.30, 11.45, waiting for the people to come out finally at lines building up, and for them to come out early and get right to the signing and to give everyone, you. and to give everyone a fair amount of time. Like, I like, feel like we had full conversations with them. Yeah, we had them. full conversations before um, we took the picture. Mike Flanagan said that he knew of the Lasser cast, but probably because we keep bothering him by tagging him yeah, in every video he, he that we do. Him. Uh, but I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm not going to deny it. I also got to peddle my conspiracy, uh, oh. Mike Flanagan uh, universe theory <laughs> I... that Maddie, <laughs> Maddie in Hush... Kate Siegel's character in Hush is related to Jesse Carl Gugino in Gerald's Game, uh, and that they are either sisters or go get the cat, or just oh that's the bad cat oh boy, uh, and and they even admitted that they've toyed with that idea, and that made me very happy that they didn't just think I was some like crazy person. So anyway, here, Shaw, you want to show this off? Yes, I would. Okay, so okay. this is yeah. We got the Fall of the House of Usher because all four of them are in it. This is uh, Raul Cole's I Bet It's Cake, as you can see. We um, loved him. Uh, he's our fav one of our favorite characters from Bly, yes. and uh, we loved his uh, dad jokes on Bly. Look at that. He's a battered woman. Yes, a salt and buttery. Yes. This is uh, from Carlo Cugino, right here. Um, and then right below that is Kate Siegel's You're So Lemon. The lemon speech in Fall of the House of Usher is we one of the best moments of the series. We didn't even ask her to write that. She gave me back the poster, and we looked, and it was like, oh, my God. Yeah. And then there's, oh, oh I'm sorry. And then there's uh, Mike Flanagan there. Uh, oh. Just an absolute pleasure. And then we followed up meeting them by going to the panel, the panel discussion. And for an hour, oh, they... It was not just about the Fall of the House of Usher. In fact, they... They, they rarely talk, talked about they it. They talked about the Fall of the House of Usher a little bit, but it's been a year since it debuted on Netflix. They talked about literally everything. Yeah. All of the projects that they've been with him, uh, getting to work with Flanagan and the various uh, movies and shows, uh, The Life of Chuck, which is coming out next year, which just won the um, Audience Award at TIFF. Uh, they talked about his upcoming... Exorcist movie. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, they talked about his upcoming Dark Tower series. He is just upcoming, upcoming. And I will say the star of the panel was, was, Raul, Coley. was Raul Coley, who one of the most <laughs> genuinely funny people I think I've ever been in a room with. Poor he man been, has got kicked out of the group chat. <laughs> yes, he was. They, they made jokes that he had been kicked out of their group chats for, uh, for reasons. Uh, but yeah, you could just tell, again, everything feels so authentic with them, that, and they feel like they're just a group of friends. Obviously, Kate Siegel and Mike Flanagan are married, they have children together, but it just feels like he has this amazing working relationship with all of these actors, which is why, you know, the uh, Josh Horowitz, who did the panel, said it's, it's basically him and... Um, Oh, Wes Anderson, who are like the only uh, working directors now that have like their own basically entire troupe of actors yeah. that just follow them from project to project. And it was such a great panel. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about Sunday and the stuff that we got? We can show yeah, off some of the um, stuff that we got. Uh, okay, so first we got this shirt from, what is this? Oh, Tino, T Tino Evil. Tino Evil. Sorry yes. about that. Uh, I have a shirt with this with the main I just slashers. It. Yeah, he just washed it because he does my laundry. Thanks. Uh, this is Tim Burton characters. That's ja Jack Skellington. Beetlejuice is right there. Uh, it's getting covered, but yeah. Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, thanks. And who's that? 
Uh, Beetlejuice. No, 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 the guy with the pumpkin. Oh, the oh. Headless Horseman. Oh, yeah, Headless Horseman. Um, really we we also horseman. should mention uh, cosplay. Last year, Charlotte was the... Chucky and Tiffany. Was Chucky and Tiffany, and she slayed. This year, you were very demure. Uh, this year on, when we met the, the Flavengers <laughs> on Saturday, it's funny saying that, she was Freddy Krueger. Yep. Uh, they got a kick out of it. Uh, oh my God. Mike Flanagan wanted to see my, 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 my glove. And he was like, he was like, oh, cool costume. Can I see the glove? And I was just like, yeah. And then I shook his hand with the glove. <laughs> Can't um, believe it, guys. And then she did her own makeup and pulled off an amazing Beetlejuice cosplay. People. I did asked her for pictures uh people stopped her and or you know yelled beetlejuice 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 as she was walking by there was like seven um, people who did that i'll include i'll include uh pictures of that in the uh, thumbnail for the video you'll see uh charlotte as beetlejuice um it, in terms of some of the stuff we bought um so we got Should've the been... tino evil shirt um we didn't buy anything from this company but great american gothic custom fangs and other morbid curiosities um they had an amazing selection of handmade flasks and i almost like i don't really need a reason to drink more alcohol but they were freaking awesome and i wish i would have bought uh they had a slurm one from Futurama. They had so many of like my favorite horror movies and shows, and I was like, I want a flask. I'll drink apple juice out of them. Yeah, really. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't know what company makes these amazing mugs, but these are like hand carved into oh, wow, into the glass. Um, we also have a Scoops Ahoy one. From yes, I I bought uh, this for Athena a few years ago. It's an Outlander reference Sassanac, and it accidentally, uh, it didn't accidentally. I dropped it in the sink while doing dishes, and so we had to buy her a new one. I don't know. It doesn't have the name of the manufacturer on it, and they didn't Fair put like that. a card in. But we love them, and I typically buy a coffee mug from them every year. Now you might be the lasser cast but have you ever heard of the liking lass yeah uh so first of all this company is called the legging lass there were no lasses behind the counter there was a lads there the were there lads. were the legging lads <laughs> and they did a hell of a job uh selling their wares um we bought um so charlotte bought these leggings uh we'll Jason yeah Here you go. Jason all different types of Jason Ugh, love it it's bloody <laughs> I got um these Halloween Michael Myers shorts booty shorts no these are not the booty shorts mommy got the booty shorts that <laughs> go along with this oh, okay well, and those okay. and those are not for the camera uh and then I also as I was walking away I am a big fan I wear uh, I'm a big fan of the horror movie Button Down, if you can tell. and I bought this pretty awesome horror movie uh, Button Down shirt, also from the Legging Glass. All the different uh, slasher characters on Jason. it. Yeah, um, we have a Charlotte is making her debut at Horror Trivia for Let's the go! for the Brooklyn Horror Film Festival. Uh, not tomorrow, Wednesday night, and I'm going to be wearing that shirt to trivia. And I'm going to be wearing these leggings. And she's going to wear those leggings. So the legging lass did a great job, and if they want to come on the lasser cast, that would be uh, strangely appropriate, I think. Yeah. Um, I have that uh, Flavengers, Mike Flanagan, Kate Siegel, Raul Coley, and Carlo Gugino panel. I recorded all 56 minutes of it. That is up on the channel now. It's gotten about 200 views so far, and... It, my my camera work is shaky because I'm literally sitting here holding my phone for 56 minutes. Then his phone died. But I promise you, if you just listen to it, they are so funny. They have such engaging conversation. The jokes, they, they make amazing callback jokes that somehow all hit. Uh, and Raul Coley is funny as hell. And I don't think I will ever stop like you actually referenced you made a joke that referenced the Raul Coley one of his jokes at the panel 
So if you want to, if you're a fan of the Mike Flanagan, Netflix shows, movies, if you're excited for his upcoming Stephen King and Exorcist adaptations, and you want to hear nearly an hour of him and Kate Siegel, Raul Coley, Carl Gugino talk about those things, listen, <laughs> listen to the panel, uh, which is up on the channel now. I have a few more videos somehow to do. Uh, I saw a panel for this indie horror movie set at the remnants of Action Park called Traction Park Massacre, which I think looks really fun. Um, we also I, just oh sorry, oh, we also just saw Smile Two, so we should make a. Think oh, about that. I did do a short review of Smile Two but that you can check out. We long should do a review. Yes, yes, we have something to smile about. <laughs> All right, and now put the bread in the butter and the banana at oh, the same time yes very good the yes <laughs> that is a reference to Raul i can't Coley stop saying that and, and i feel like Flanagan. it's getting old but it will never get old uh again uh i love going to comic-con every year it's it's become a family thing charlotte has gotten crazy into cosplay we did it with her when she was a really little kid i went as anna my first year <laughs> Uh, she had an amazing Ray from Star Wars costume. Ooh, Athena did her hair. She, she was like, I think five or six years old, and there were five, six or seven. Yeah, and there were like people stopping her to and take my, pictures. And my cousin was Kylo Ren. Oh, it was just perfect. Yeah, it was great until Nikki hit you on the finger and you started crying. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I was but, also Coraline one year. That was two years ago. That was great. Last year she did uh, Chucky and Tiffany. We saw. I saw a few Tiffany's and Chucky's this year. Yeah. And I Beetle saw like Juice, so many Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice and Lydia. I swear, were I walked past like the maybe, same guy dressed as Beetlejuice. Do you think they were the, the number one costume we saw this year? I thought there'd be. There were a few Deadpool variants. There was literally only one Freddy Krueger I saw, and I was like shocked because I always see Freddy Kruegers. Yeah, there. Were, you know, you got your Michael Myers. Um, you got. You know, we're not the biggest like anime and animation people, yeah, so we don't really animes. know. A we're lot the horror of, and the uh, marvelous yeah. part of it. Um, I did see a really great cosplay of... There was a family that came as uh, Marvel minions. Oh my god, I saw that. That was they really good. They were standing good. next to us in the checkout line. Yes, they were really good. There was an Iron Man Marvel minion. There was minion. a Scarlet Witch one. Yes, there was, oh, they that's were great. excellent. Oh, it was so fun. Uh, so, it, New York Comic Con, unfortunately, ended yesterday... But if you want to live vicariously through us, you can go on the Lassercast channel. Mayfair Witches Season 2 panel uh, is up there. The uh, Hysteria, which is now on Peacock, all eight episodes, their panel discussion. There's two videos, plus I did a short review of the premiere episode. Uh, the 56-minute Mike Flanagan and Flavengers panel that we saw. Uh... Yeah, um, and there's more videos to come from Comic Con. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, this has well, been Danny. And Charlotte from The Legging Last. I mean, The Lasser Cast. Thank you. See you later. Bye.